All right, music fans, welcome back. It is The Real Music Observer, observing real music in real time for real people, just like you right there and me right here. Uh, Vinnie Vincent is uh, back in the spotlight after about, oh, I don't know, 20-year absence. That really sounds familiar to me uh, when all of the uh, Steve Perry people are always uh, wondering when Steve is going to do all this stuff. Uh, Vinny basically showed up at a little kiss gathering where uh, there was quite a lot of hoopla. People came from all over the world to see and meet Vinny Vincent. And again, my theory, the great marketing theory of all time is absence uh, makes the heart grow fonder. And uh, in Vinny's case, it certainly worked. Uh, look, he's a guy who impacted Kiss, certainly with his uh, style, his songwriting, uh, just his overall presence in the band Kiss. Uh, nobody can really take that away from the guy. Uh, if you're a real hardcore fan, you got to love the Vinnie Vincent Invasion, which I think is, is fairly good music. Uh, there's, you know, I've listened to it and I've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm not this hardcore fan, though. Uh, I've been a fan from a distance. I've certainly liked Kiss, but I didn't really come of age when it came to Kiss until Lick It Up came out, and Vinny's on that. So is that a coincidence? Possibly. I'm not sure. It may just be my attention span is very short when it comes to music, uh, but I do think the guy's got talent. I think he can play. I think he can write, and I think he, you know, if he's collaborating uh, with Gene and Paul, I think uh, it's a killer combination. Uh, it's too bad that it took 20 years for these guys to get back together and hang out together because uh, it is rumored that um, he is going to meet up with Gene Simmons pretty soon, which would be cool. Uh, Gene apparently sent out some rogue emails that he didn't get, uh, but he wanted uh, Vinny to be part of his vault project, uh, trying to raid the vault and find all of this great music that people haven't heard. And as the whole classic rock, melodic rock era kind of collapses, uh, you know, for fans, this is really a treat. This is something that, uh, you know, you just, you're not going to see again. You're not going to get again. Uh, and what's even more fascinating is he's talking about possibly performing again uh, and playing uh, and showing up for fans all over the place. So, uh, this is big news for KISS fans. It's big news for music fans. I mean, if you're a, a fan of that era of KISS, uh, you've got to be kind of pinching yourself right now. And I know there are a lot of folks, uh, folks have been asking me, hey, can you do a, a Vinny video? Look, Eddie Trunk had it covered. Uh, um, I'm kind of sold now on Eddie Trunk. I think he does a good job uh, with these interviews. He asks good questions. I watched the uh, Neil Sean uh, Joe Elliott interview <clears throat> yesterday live when it aired and um, Eddie did ask the question and uh, about you know the turmoil in the band journey and so forth he didn't just sort of uh, give these guys a pass so uh, I think he's good I think it's great to see Vinny out there Vinny did a great interview with Eddie Trunk if you want to watch that I would urge you to watch it because you learn a lot uh, I wish they had more time to kind of get into more detail, but after a 20-year absence, I guess if you dip a toe in the water, uh, that's a big deal, and that was more than a toe. That was like a whole foot. So we shall see for KISS fans, for Vinny Vincent fans. Uh, by the way, Vinny seems like a really nice, humble guy. Uh, he just he seems very likable, and that always appeals to me. And, uh, you know, you root for a guy like that, and he pretty much had nothing bad to say about his former bandmates. So that's cool. Uh, only if we could get Journey together like that again. <laughs> and they're going on tour. That's just bizarre. All right, so that's my video on Vinny Vincent. It's good to have him back in the spotlight, and hopefully he'll be talking more and uh, telling us about his tough 20-year absence. In the meantime, I'm Dave. It's The Real Music Observer. I'll be back observing more real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. We'll see you then.